The earnings are just insane right now on Kapow. This is nuts. Look at this. Ravencoin mining it straight up. $23.32. That's over 1,000 Raven, about 1,100 per day on my 13X1660 Ti rig. Mining on NiceHash, $69.60 a day. This is better than January 1st, 2018. Hey Raptors, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Today's a really fun day. We are working on Kapow and we're watching the Raven coin migration over to the new algorithm. And there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of live streams happening. It's super exciting. I'm gonna walk you through how I set up some of the miners in Windows, in Hive OS, and how we're setting up the pools and how we got everything up and going. So I'll show you all of that. We'll talk a little bit about the earnings today. So let's jump right into it, guys. Here we go. All right, so I wanted to get a quick look here at the hash rate. And just a little while ago, we were at 2.73. Yep, still 2.73 terahash. So if we watch it, look at this. We fell off the cliff from 31, 32 terahash to 2.73, folks. Absolutely incredible. It's uh, It's been really fun to watch this. So this has been going, let's see here, it's seven, almost 7.30 Eastern time and it's it's been pretty stable i think we had dropped as low as it looks like we had gotten as low somewhere around 300 giga hash so absolutely insane we're at about 2.73 terahash certainly this will go up over the next few days but as long as we don't get that spike i'm going to be really really happy with where we are and last thing i just wanted to touch on earnings real quick and what it looks like so this is my 7x my TK421 Stormtrooper mining rig. This is the 7X 1660 Ti rig. And you can see here, earnings mining Ravencoin straight up, 1150 per day. And if I switch over to NiceHash, don't know if this is correct or not. We're gonna give this a shot as soon as I stop the video at $29.42. Now moving over to the 1660 Ti rig, this is just really nuts. $18.71 on Kapow. $56.56 per day on Kapow using NiceHash. So absolutely insane. And you can see we've been mining ETHash up until today and the profits haven't been awful. They've jumped a little bit here um, in the past couple of days. So this is a really, really nice jump here. We're gonna gather as much of this coin as we possibly can before things turn another direction. And I feel a high level of confidence with ProgPal or Kapal and its ASIC resistance and FPGA resistance. I think that people are gonna be pleasantly surprised who were opposing this during the discussion for Ethash to move to ProgPal. So we'll see, uh, but I think it's gonna be good news for us home miners. So, all right, just taking a quick look at the pools that are available. You can see here two miners is got quite a bit of the hash rate that's out there. And if you want guys, go ahead, find, find a pool that works for you and spread this hash rate out a little bit. We're doing all of our testing using ravenminer.com. And uh, I don't know, we may, we may move some rigs to some different pools and try things out, but that's where we're gonna land for today. Okay guys, so I just wanted to give you one quick benchmark here on my 1660 Super. And I am running at about 100 watts just because when I started playing around in Hive and I was chatting with people in Discord and on Twitter, day one everyone's kind of cranking that wattage up to get as much coin as they possibly can because the amount you're spending in electricity is a lot lower than what you're getting back in coins. So I went ahead just to normalize this and brought it up at about 100 watts. And you can see that before I started recording, we were up here at about 12.61 mega hash per second with an efficiency of 126 kilohash per watt. And what I'm finding here is I'm doing some testing and I'll walk you through this here in a moment, is that you it, it seems like from an efficiency standpoint, you wanna be at at least 120 kilohash per watt. That seems to be the reasonable amount. If you get below that, you need to start looking at your settings and see if you can make it a bit more efficient I'm guessing that over the next 
coming days, people will start turning down the wattage just a little bit, maybe 10, 20%, and we'll see the efficiencies get a little bit better. But yeah, right now, I mean, this 1660 Super is really cranking. It looks really good from an efficiency standpoint and from a price point. You can pick these up 220, sometimes less uh, new. And if you wanna go new versus used, the 1660 Super or the TI might be the way to go. Now, one thing I'll say, when you've got the Supers versus the TI, I get asked a lot why I get the TI versus the Super. You can get the Super cheaper. You can push your core clock and your memory clock a lot more on the TI in different algorithms and in different miners. In some circumstances, it's really hard, like on Ethereum, Ethash, it's very difficult to tell the difference in the performance between the two, the Super and the TI, but for all around versatility, the TI gets you a lot more bang for the buck. So I, when I brought this memory up beyond 400 and the core clock, if I brought it above 100, I was getting failures you can see one right here. So I'm gonna have to play around with that a little bit more. That's where we are at the minute, 11, we'll call it an 11 and a half mega hash per second and 131 kilohash per watt. It's pretty good, pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording software again and we're gonna to try to bring this power limit down and see if we can drop this down to about 70 watts and see where that gets us from a kilohash per watt standpoint. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you this real quick. We dropped our power limit to 56% in the afterburner and our power consumption is right at 70 watts and we are getting 136 kilohash per watt. So that's basically 9.2 mega hash per second here. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, we hit 136 kilohash per watt and before when we were at 90 watts, we were right there at about 130 as well. So really good efficiency on this. Now what I wanna do is I want to move over to Hive OS and we're gonna get one of our big rigs running on Ravencoin. And let's see how much hash rate we can knock down. Okay, we're gonna work with the big daddy first, the 13 by 1660 Ti rig. It's currently mining ETH. We're gonna add a new wallet. Raven, I can enter my new address and the wallet name. I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. We're gonna name this, I'm gonna use one address per rig. So 13x, 1660 Ti to desktop wallet. So you can name these things a couple different ways. I'm just naming this to give me a hint of how I'm doing it this time. So I'm giving it my rig name and then which wallet I'm mining to. And this isn't used for anything right here. This is just to remind me what this wallet address is, is being used for. Okay, so we've got our wallet. Let's create a flight sheet. And this is gonna be for Raven. Let's select a wallet. We're gonna select our address that we're using for our 13 card build, our desktop wallet. And we're starting out using Raven Miner. And we don't wanna use the EU stratum. So we're gonna go over to their website and grab the US stratum. Here we go us.ravenminer.com. Let's copy that. And we want to run T-Rex. And yep, we want to run the latest. Let's see if this works. And we're going to give this flight sheet a name. So let's call this Raven T-Rex to Raven Miner. All right, let's jump over to our rig now. 
Let's go to our flight sheets. Actually, just in case this is gonna do an upgrade to the miner, let's go ahead and grab this while we're at it. And we'll do a reboot. Okay guys, so I wanna just walk you through real quick all the rigs I've got up and running in Hive here and show you what kind of hash rates I'm getting on different GPUs. And some of this I'm running just day one to get as much coin as I can, but I'll walk you through all that and let you take a look. Um, if you've got some hash rates you wanna share, leave them in the comments below. If you've got any images you wanna share, go over and throw them in our Discord. It'd be great to see what you got going on and, and we can share some suggestions, some ideas on how to optimize these cards. Okay, first up is my 13 by 1660 Ti rig. If you guys watch this channel, you know this is probably my favorite rig. It is incredible and it is hashing away on Kapow. We're at 176 mega hash. It peaks at 180. Right now, each 1660 Ti is at 13 mega hash per second or above. So you can see 13.33, 13.51. Um, just really, really, really strong. I've got them running at 90 watts and I've tested this at the wall. So this is really accurate within a couple of watts here or there. And the temperatures are staying nice and low. And by the way, this is still in my garage. I have not moved it out into the mining shed. So there's no special cooling or anything like that going on. Uh, we're staying in the 60s, which is where I've got auto fan set to let it go. If we crank these fans up a little bit higher than 50%, we could get these down even lower than that. But it's been a pretty warm day here. We hit in, into the 80s, actually. So I'm really, really pleased considering I'm driving these cards harder than I usually would. Uh, I'll do a follow-up video. We'll go into each of these rigs and really push them. Notice I'm not, again, above 100 watts here. If I did that... I'm pretty sure we could, we could, oh gosh, maybe break 185, 190, something like that on this rig. But again, this 13 by 1660 Ti rig is by far the best rig I've ever built, the most efficient rig that puts this kilohash per watt somewhere around 150 kilohash per watt, about 150. And if you can get to one about 120 kilohash per watt or above you're doing really really well so this rig is just rocking and rolling okay next up is rig 001 now this was actually this is the first rig i ever built and it's hung around for years it's become a mixed card rig it's a little bit of a hodgepodge but still a really great rig super stable i'm running at about 91 to 92 mega hash here and I'll show you how we get there. So we've got a 1080 Ti in here that's running at 180 watts, 900 on the memory, 150 on the core, and we're, we, we peak, sometimes we hit about 23 and a half, something like that, but we'll call it 23 mega hash on this 1080 Ti. And these 1070s, I'm pushing them a bit here, not getting the ultimate efficiency that I could, but uh, we're running them at about 100 watts these are the NVIDIA reference cards and we're peaking almost at 14 mega hash. So these 1070s are looking pretty strong. And you can see since we're running at 100 watts here, that puts us at about 137 to 140 kilo hash per watt, which is actually pretty darn good. So these 1070s have, have got a new lease on life here with, with Kapow. And my 1080, I need to work on this. I, I've been dropping this wattage. I'm at 140 watts right now, and we're at about 18 mega hash. So it's, it's putting out, it's producing a good bit here. Um, but I need to do some more optimization on this. The 1660 Ti I have in here, this is the single fan EVGA. And it's above 13 mega hash as well, and I've got it at 90 watts. And then we've got another 1070 down here. I need to do some work on. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with this one, but you can see it's not it's not putting out the uh, same performance that we're seeing on these 1070s up here. Okay, up next is my 1060 rig. This one, along with my AMD rig, right out of the gate, I was getting some rejected shares, but I think everybody was. But these are I'm just, I'm trying to get these stable and a little bit better optimized. I've I've had them touching. 10 mega hash, we could push these a little bit harder here. 
if I've pushed the core or the memory any further on these, which I usually can do on ethash, then I start getting mem memory errors in T-Rex on Kapow. So I've dialed them back just a little bit here. I do wanna test pushing the wattage a bit, but we'll do that in another video. You can see I've got another laggard here on 1060. It's running about 20% lower than the next 1060 here beside it. Okay, last but not least is the AMD rig. And this is a 5X470 rig. I've also got one 580 in there. And I've loaned another one of these to a friend of mine. So we'll be beefing this thing up a little bit more here in the next few days. But uh, I wanna work on this rig a little bit more. We've got it up and running on NB Miner using Kapow. And we're somewhere around 10 mega hash, 9.6 to 11.13, depending on which card you're looking at here. I'll leave these settings up here. I've also posted these in Discord. So I'm working on the AMD side, but I've got to spend a little bit of time with this rig to get it optimized. But most importantly, I was just trying to get it up and running for day one to get that, get that coin rolling with this rig. But looking good, okay. I would say it's acceptable, not great. We'll work on it a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna wrap there, guys, just to get this video out, but this has been a super exciting day. It's been a lot of fun watching this transition take place. We're gonna stay on top of Kapow. We're gonna try to get our profits up as high as we can, get our mining up as high as we can, and we're gonna try to get as many miners into that shed as fast as we can. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Take care, Raptors, bye-bye.